Hi, this is Sean. Welcome to GuitarReferenceGuide.com. In this lesson, we're going to go through the song We Remain by Christine Aguilera off of the uh, Hunger Games soundtrack, the latest Catching Fire. She's got some amazing pipes. Uh, this is a really nice song. It's also perfect for beginners. We have the capo at the second fret. The chords just repeat the same thing for the verse and the chorus. Chords are going to be D. G, G, D for two measures, G for two measures, B minor for two measures. Those of you that have a hard time with this bar chord, I'm going to show you how to play it like this. G for one measure, A for one measure. And then on the third pass, we're going to do a D sus4 for one measure, and then a regular D chord. And that's basically the whole tune. I'm going to break it down really slow. The strumming pattern is great. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, I'm playing it like this. But I'm gonna show you an easier way. You can also play it like this. For those of you that have a hard time with the first one. I'm gonna show you graphics of both the chords and the strum pattern, so, so that'll help you learn the song. So hope you enjoy this lesson, and let's get started. Okay, the breakdown, capo. Second fret, I'm going to start with a D chord. Second fret G string, third fret B string, second fret high E string. We strum from the D string. Strum pattern is going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One more time, real slow. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Timing would be one and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. We do that for two measures on the D. And then we would go to G. For those of you that have a hard time with this strumming pattern, you could also just strum it like this. Down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So that would be a little bit easier. That would be one and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, and you just do that for two. Then we go to the G chord, second finger, uh, third fret, E string, first finger, second fret, A string, third finger, third fret, B string, pinky, third fret, high E string. Same strum pattern here, two measures again. going to go to the B minor chord. Two measures here. Now for the B minor chord, after you play the G to go to the B minor, leave your first finger down, you curve it over, you bar second fret. Second finger goes to the third fret of the B, third finger, fourth fret of the D, pinky, fourth fret of the G. Same strum pattern. Now, if this uh, bar chord's too hard, you could always just put your index finger down here and strum it from the fourth string. This would also work great. This is a little bit easier. Now we're back to the G chord for one measure. Then now to go to the A chord, take these fingers off, third finger slides over to the second fret, first finger, second fret G, second finger is gonna go, or second finger is gonna go on the second fret of the D. One measure here. And then we're gonna go back to the top. But this time, instead of starting with D, we're gonna start with a D sus4 chord, which is gonna look like this. Regular D chord, you put your pinky on the third fret of the high E string. And you take it off for the next measure. And then we're into the G. And then it cycles through again, G two measures, B minor two measures, G for one measure, A for one measure. Then we do the D sus four for one measure. 
this is where it says we remain and then we're back to the D. And then the whole form just starts over. Just goes through that for the, the entire song. This is a great song because the strumming pattern is pretty intense and if you're just learning guitar and you have a hard time with the rhythm, this is a fun one to do it with. So now uh, I'm gonna sh play through it in time so you can hear what it sounds like and hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, please subscribe, please like on Facebook and hope you have a great day. So let's try and play it together. I'm gonna count us in from four. One, two, three, four. G for two measures. B minor for two measures. G for one measure. A for one measure. B sus four. for one measure. Back to D. Now the whole cycle starts over. Beginning of the verse, back to the D. Then into the G, etc. And that's just going to cycle through the whole song.